Welcome back to Arise Prime Time. I'm Charles Henry Gulu, and this wouldn't be prime time without the presence of our guest commentator to give his personal perspective on some of the news and issues we've discussed today. And I'm joined for the rest of the program by Arise News Analyst and former chairman of the editorial board of Daily Trust newspaper, Mahmoud Jagger. Great to see you, Mahmoud. Thank you very much. Um, let's get straight into it. Let's start with the first guest we had, Marvin Yobana, who is an ally of uh, Governor Fubara. Um, what did you make of his analysis of what has been going on, particularly in the, in the wake of this communique that was issued? Yeah, well, he, he, he didn't come out uh, mm. swinging. Uh, he was being extremely uh, careful. Circumspect. As he said also, yeah. probably he's an ally of the governor, but he didn't exactly see him. I can imagine the governor has been very busy since he returned mm. to Port Harcourt. So he was not sure. On the one hand, it is clear he was not happy with the text of the communique yes. after the meeting. It, it, that came across. Didn't that it? came across. But mm. then, uh, since the governor signed it and has not denied it and was talking about any price he's worth paying for peace, which suggests that he actually mm. uh, accepted the agreement, even if uh, a bit reluctantly, mm. then the ally could not be seen to be condemning the agreement outright. I think he was working a tight mm. rope, yes. yes. I mean, just looking at that um, agreement, that communicate, you, you, I mean, it, it's clear that no risk planning was factored into it, um, a sort of a way to mitigate things if they go bad again? Well, uh, again, uh, even like Prof was saying, we are not there, we don't know exactly what... Uh, well, I mean, we saw the communique. Yeah, we saw the communique. Well, you see, uh, to begin with, presidential mm. intervention in very major crises is necessary in Nigeria. Mm. For example, in 2008, when there was a crisis in the House of Representatives involving the Speaker, Mrs. Mercy Eti, you know, everybody was saying, President Nera, do I should intervene? Mm. And he said, no, I don't want to uh, interfere with the another arm of government. People said, no, this is not interference. This is intervention, you mm. know. That was the first time I had that. So this time too, everybody was saying, ah, this problem in rivers could explode. And the president intervened for the mm -hmm. second time. However, by the time the communique was publicized, then all these criticisms started coming that it looks lopsided. Even the meeting itself is like the president, uh, vice president, NSA, so many federal officials mm. and uh, uh, wiki. But uh, on the governor's side, he was uh, virtually alone. Uh, the faction of the state assembly loyal to him apparently was not represented there. Mm. That itself could not have explained all the lopsidedness. In so the I think area. he might have been a bit intimidated by what was going on. Yeah, but Brow he beaten. He shouldn't have been. Arm I mean, twisted. The governor of a state like uh, River State is a serious uh, business. But uh, really, Looking at the communique now, it uh, really exposes him in the future mm. because right now the advantage that he had before the presidential intervention was that his own faction of the state assembly, few as they are, got a court order yes. that conferred legitimacy <laughs> on, on them. them. Yeah. Uh -huh. And they use that now to declare the seats of mm. the other members despite their huge number vacant and then they wrote to INEC to conduct by elections. But now as part of this agreement they are being asked to withdraw all the court cases mm. that they instituted. Although I but don't you know can't how we, we can't withdraw a court, well, a court has already ruled. judgment. Yeah absolutely. Yes. If it had not ruled yeah, that, that would, would be it. different. Uh -huh. yeah. The same thing with the budget. Mm. The budget was passed by the faction loyal to him. It was comical, only four or five of them. But he signed it into law. Mm. I don't see how he can come back now and uh, say, well, okay, I'm representing uh, the body. Uh, yeah, absolutely. Until you get uh, either the assembly to revoke it, I don't know if they can, or mm. a court order to revoke the budget that was right. passed before he can go back. But I think the most troubling was the aspect of the commissioners. Mm. The party split into two factions in River State. 
and all these commissioners who are writing letters are resigning because they are they belong to a particular to, bank. To yeah, absolutely. Order. Now, to so how is he going to work with them? Exactly, I mean, that's, that's, exactly. a, that's, a, that's a very important it's question. Very important. So yeah. now he will have no cabinet uh, loyal to him and no assembly. I mean, the next time he could be chucked out in mm. one night. So in, in that context uh, of what you just mm. brilliantly analyzed mm. just now, do you believe that the parties will be bound by that agreement? Or have they all become sort of strange bedfellows? Um, you know, alienated from each other and as a result of this crisis, and it's only a matter of time before it all unravels. Yeah, because uh, what could happen after all these are Nigerian politicians? The governor, when he went back home, could mm. be surrounded by his key allies, and they will say, this is terrible. Mm. Why did you sign this uh, agreement? Uh -huh. And if he agrees with them, then they will now begin to find ways to unravel the whole agreement and it will not be very difficult so one or two people only have to go to court yeah and say no you can't undo the mm. budget no you can't uh, bring back uh, the members whose seats have been declared vacant and uh, a case like that could go on for years because mm. you lose at the high court you go to appeal court you go to supreme court by and then ultimately the it'll drain the state it won't will. it i it mean the, the political focus will be dissipated into other things. And also the most important point of the disagreement mm. uh, was not addressed, at least in the community. This defection business from PDP to APC, which I think is at the core of the disagreement. Mm. Wike is a PDP member, still is, but worked for PDP, was worked for APC, APC yeah. was heavily rewarded for it, but it will be incongruous to remain in the president's cabinet while you are still a PDP member. Mm. So he was planning apparently to defect and he wanted what will resolve the problem maybe would be if the governor himself agrees that okay let's all go to APC. But uh, matters have already yeah, but been but I, 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 I mean, I, I'd be astonished if the governor did that. I mean, when he might not. Uh, yeah, I mean, I, he, he may well do it because in the political calculations mm -hmm. of Nigeria, mm -hmm. it is within the realm of not just possibility, probability. Yeah, because now... But it, it would be astonishing if... The only did. thing he gained from, from the meeting mm. is that the, 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 the impeachment proceedings should stop mm. but uh, stop for how long so y your analysis then because mm. we've got about a minute a minute and a half mm. or so left is that they're not all going to hold hands and sing kumbaya um they, they we're in for a rough ride ahead i think so sooner or later sooner or later mm. the agreement will unravel uh, yes. one side or another will find ways to destroy the agreement and there are easy ways you just go to court and uh, get one order conflicting one and before you know it <laughs> well that'll keep uh, armchair analysts in business <laughs> won't it for some time yet to come uh, that is true <laughs> Mahmoud thank you very much yeah. always a pleasure to talk with yeah. you Mahmoud Jega is a rise news analyst and former chairman of the editorial board of daily trust newspaper mm. that's it for this edition of arise prime time join us again tomorrow from me and the entire team here in Abuja and Port Harcourt Bye-bye and thank you for watching.